A Nomvelo Makanya accused Scandal as a toxic work environment and she's having the last laugh. Good day and welcome back to my YouTube channel. The production hired an abusive Silo Sobutsane who used to beat his wife to a pulp in front of their two children. Silo is a South African actor who starred in a number of productions which include Stockwell, Number One Ladies Detective. He was married to Shoki Mola in 2006. Shoki is also an actress and fashion designer. And their marriage ended in 2018 after domestic violence accusations which were reported by the wife. She alleges that Silo attacked her, accusing her of depriving him his conjugal rights and he strangled and punched her several times in their home in Johannesburg. She sustained injuries on her face, stomach, arms and legs. She took a peace order against Silo and reported him to the police. It was quite messy. Shoki acted in Skim Sam as Celia Kunutu for 10 years and had recently joined Scandal as Reverend Prudence Molepo. So now, her ex-husband, the abuser, has also been casted on Scandal and viewers are extremely disappointed, arguing that how can they put the two in the same set when there is so much bad blood between them. Viewers are saying that the Scandal production team is inconsiderate of their actors' feelings, thus making the workplace toxic, just like Nombelo said before. People are saying that South Africa is a place where gender-based violence is not taken seriously. That is why Selo got a job at ETV Scandal and that they employed an abuser and also the victim in the same company. Shoki was very loud with the abuse when it happened and she went to the courts and did interviews with journalists so most of us know their past and scandal dared to cast them in the same soapy. Yo? In their response, the scandal team alleges that they know what they're doing and currently Shoki is not filming so they can never bump into each other. However, People are not convinced and are questioning the production team's morals. One tweet commented, Even if they are working different times on set, this man abused Shoki. She had to sleep with a knife under a pillow in self-defense. Scandal needs to think this through. And another one said, Abusers are always winning. Strength to Shoki. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this situation? Let's discuss in the comment section down below. As for me, I don't know how production houses work like you guys, but morally, this is not right. It looks like they are not following Shoki and their mental health in casting an abuser. Yes, the abuse happened a long time ago, but it's, it just does not make it right. One way or the other, they will be forced to meet and interact because they are working for the same employer. They could meet in a work function. They could meet in a work party. They could meet in awards. You know, one way or the other, they are bound to meet. So their defense of saying uh, they have different, different times they are filming, it really does not hold water for me. I don't know about you, but definitely this is not right. Something is definitely not right. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, please do not forget to subscribe. Please do not forget to like. Please comment down below and share the video. Until next time, it's a bye for now.